We now understand from neuroscience that we can actually train attention. What one focuses on then or pays attention to does change certain structures and therefore functions of the brain. We utilize something that's incredibly accessible and has also been replicated in research. We just call it focused breathing. It's something as simple as noticing when you're breathing in and when you're breathing out. Then gently inviting your attention into your breath or your heartbeat. We use focused breathing because it's something that every student carries with them. It doesn't require an additional technology purchase. Feeling kind of the sensation of the breath coming in and out of your, out of your body is just a great sensation of just being calm and, and serene. Emotions play a role in regulating what gets stored and recalled out of memory. So inviting students into the classroom, asking them to check their emotions at the door uh, without giving them any tools to actually regulate their emotions is not a good idea. And what that allows me to do is actually acknowledge the emotion, say hi to it, if you will, and then, then that, for some reason, allows attention to come back on demand to what I need. A number of modalities can be utilized to integrate these practices into each course. For a beginning class, face-to-face, uh, -face, it looks like the students coming in, they get, they get seated, and we walk them through a focused breathing practice. And the idea, again, is to actually invite them to arrive in the learning and development opportunity with everything that's just happened to them before instead of check it at the door, right? Get here. We have an app that, and students have actually requested an app where they can program each practice uh, to their, to send to their schedule each day and so they can practice when it's convenient for them. And an online modality, again, we have recorded focused breathing exercises and recorded focused breathing with movement or focused movement with breath so that the student can access that perhaps before they go into the chat room or before they go onto the discussion board or something so that they're fully awake and aware of where their attention is and empowered to, on demand, return their attention back to the task when it has wandered. There was just a palpable sense that we were bonding, that we were listening to each other, that we were learning together. So it completely changed, really, the, the whole tenor of the classroom. What Einstein said is true. The same kind of thinking that created the problems we have today is not the kind of thinking that will resolve it. And the kind of processing that these students are doing, I believe it's the kind of thinking that will resolve them.